Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chonzo. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 1st of September. India mourns former President Pranav Mukherjee amid COVID-19 pandemic. Authorities in Pakistan administered Kashmir continue to turn deaf ears to public concerns. And at least three policemen killed in Taliban car bombing in Afghanistan. And now for all the details. Amid widespread protests, the joint entrance examination for admission to top engineering colleges in India commenced with unprecedented preparations from Tuesday in the backdrop of the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. As millions of mass students set for the college admission exams, India's tally of coronavirus infections surged to nearly 3.7 million on Tuesday. The Joint Entrance Examinations or JEE main for admission to top engineering colleges in India began across the country on Tuesday with precautions amid COVID-19 despite protests by opposition parties and some students. Postponed twice due to the pandemic, about 958,000 aspirants have registered for the exam to be conducted from September 1 to September 6. The candidates in several cities were seen standing at a distance for the temperature check and had covered their faces with masks to contain the spread of the deadly virus. The number of aspirants per room has been brought down to 12 from 24 for the computer-based test and the computers used in the first shift of the day will not be used in the second shift. As per the SOP in place, before the start of each shift and after the last shift ends, all seats including the workstation and keyboards will be disinfected. India's Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal wished the students and said the two crucial exams, JEE and NIT for admission to medical courses, are being held to ensure that students don't lose an academic year amid the pandemic. Meanwhile, as government refused to defer the exams, India's tally of coronavirus infections surged to nearly 3.7 million on Tuesday. Despite rising cases, India recently relaxed more restrictions and has announced that urban metro trains can resume services from September 7 in an effort to avert more serious economic damage. India's former President Pranav Mukherjee, who passed away on Monday at the age of 84, following a 20-day battle with multiple ailments, was cremated with full state honours on Tuesday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said Mukherjee, a towering statesman, has left an indelible mark on the nation's development. The country is observing a seven-day state mourning following his demise. India on Tuesday paid tributes to former Indian President Pranam Mukherjee, who passed away at the age of 84 on Monday evening in New Delhi. Mukherjee, who had tested positive for COVID-19 on August 10, was in a state of deep coma and on ventilator support at the Army Hospital in the Indian capital after coming down with a lung infection. Indian President Ramnath Kovind, Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi, along with other leaders across the political spectrum, paid their last respects to Mukherjee at his residence in the national capital. Prime Minister Modi, while posting on Twitter an earlier picture of him touching Mukherjee's feet in reverence, described him as a scholar par excellence and a towering statesman who left an indelible mark on the nation's development. Later in the day, Mukherjee was cremated with full state honours at the New Delhi's Lodi Road Electric Crematorium. His son performed his last rites, while his family and relatives paid their last respects clad in PPE kits. While conforming to COVID-19 protocols, an army contingent gave a guard of honour and gun salute to the former president. Sarvajanik jivan mein itna lamba contribution karna saayad apne aap mein एक बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धि थी प्रणवदा की 
सबको साथ रखने की कला उनको महारत थी जब सत्ता में थे तो विपक्ष के लोगों के साथ तालमेल बिठाने में हमेशा वो काम करते रहे जब विपक्ष में रहें तो एक रचनात्मक विपक्ष की भूमिका निभाने में भी कभी पीछे नहीं हटे A veteran politician who served as foreign and finance minister in previous administrations led by the now opposition Congress party Mukherjee had friends on both sides of the political divide the country is observing a 7 day state mourning following his demise Moving on locals in Pakistan administered Kashmir have blamed the stooge government in the illegally occupied region continues to ignore their basic demands and has put them on pity of circumstances they claim the establishment only helps islamabad fill their treasuries through economic depredation while making hollow promises to bring development in the region locals in pakistan administered kashmir have blamed the stooge government in the illegally occupied region has done nothing to address the public concerns over the years and has put them on pity of circumstances with no development in sight Muhammad Altaf Bhatt ex candidate of the local assembly said the prime minister of Pakistan administered Kashmir Raja Farooq Haider Khan made a lot of promises but only favored his bureaucrats while completely ignoring even basic necessities and fundamental rights of the people in the illegally occupied region hum maujooda hukumat jinhone aur raja mohan farooq aizad khan ne bajaye awam ke behtari ke liye apne bureaucrats jo unke yaar dost the ya unke wo kisi qabile se the ya unke kisi talak wale the unko qawareen mein narmiyan la la kar unko wo poste जो नौजवानों का हक था उनके सियासी कारकुनों का हक था अल्ताफ बर्थ सेड द कोरोना वायरस पैंडेमिक आल्सो एक्टेड एज सॉल्ट ऑन द वूंड्स ऑफ द लोकल रेजिडेंट्स एज दे फेस्ड शॉर्टेज ऑफ एसेंशियल मेडिकल सप्लाईज एंड इवन फूड ड्यूरिंग रेस्ट्रिक्टिव लॉकडाउन्स लोकल्स हैव लॉन्ग एक्यूज्ड देयर इज अ प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड प्रेसिडेंट इन पाकिस्तान एडमिनिस्टर्ड कश्मीर but there are merely stooges who have been helping islamabad fill its treasuries through economic depredation in news from afghanistan afghan officials and pakistan's deputies ministers attended the second review meeting of the afghanistan pakistan action plan for peace and solidarity in kabul on monday Both sides discuss counterterrorism, the expansion of bilateral economic cooperation, security cooperation and the Afghan peace process. The Pakistani delegation led by Foreign Secretary Sohail Mahmood urged all stakeholders to seize historic opportunity to put an end to the war in Afghanistan. Later Afghan Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs Mirwais Nub, who led the Afghan side at the press conference on Monday said, Pakistan's fence building along with Durand line and shelling by Pakistani forces were shared with Pakistani officials at the meeting. He added that the problems of Afghan refugees in Pakistan as well as strengthening Kabul Islamabad relations, trade and transit issues were also discussed. More on news from Afghanistan. A car bomb blew up near a police base in Afghanistan's eastern city of Gurdes on early Tuesday morning, killing 3 police officials and wounding 5 others in an attack claimed by the Taliban insurgents, local media reported. According to the police, the attack started at 5 a.m. local time with a car bomb and was followed by a brief gun battle ending when the two attackers were killed by the security forces. A Taliban spokesman in a statement said the rebel group was responsible for the attack. The attack comes at a time when the United States is encouraging peace talks between the Afghan government and the Taliban while preparing to withdraw the last US troops to end almost 19 years of war. Moving on to news from Nepal, The Nepal government has decided to allow a Bahraini Royal Guard expedition to climb a Himalayan mountain in September even though tourists are not yet permitted in the country because of COVID-19 restrictions. The year 2020 has seen a washout for tourism and trekking in Nepal since the country announced its COVID-19 lockdown in March. Nepal has given permission to a Bahraini Royal Guard expedition to climb a Himalayan mountain in September 
even though tourists are not yet permitted into the country because of COVID-19 restrictions. Spokesman to the Nepal government, Dr. Yubaraj Khatiwada, informed around 18 members of the Bahrain military expedition from the Royal Guard will be climbing Mount Manaslu in the central Nepal, a 8,163-meter-high peak that is the world's eighth highest. The team will arrive on a charter flight in mid-September and stay a week in quarantine according to the COVID-19 protocols before the summit starts. संस्कृति पर्यटन नागरिक उड्डयन मंत्रालय को प्रस्ताव में आगामी सितंबर 15 2020 पश्चिम बहराइन का राजकुमार सहित 15 जना बहराइनी रह तीन जना ब्रिटिश नागरिक गरी जमा 18 जना को टोली लाई स्वास्थ्य तथा जनसंख्या मंत्रालय ले जारी गरी को मैप दंडा पालना करने गरी नियम अनुसार नेपाल को लोबुचे र मनासलो हिमाल Charter flight bada Nepal auna anumati dine. This comes as the year 2020 has been a washout for tourism and trekking in Nepal after expeditions that were already preparing to climb Mount Everest and other Himalayan peaks were told to get off the mountains after the country announced its COVID-19 lockdown in March. Assumed to have limited vegetation because of harsh climatic conditions, Farmers in India's Himalayan desert of Ladakh are now exploring new ways to cultivate seasonal vegetables and fruits which are grown in warm weather areas. Have a look. India's Defence Research and Development Organisation or DRDO is helping farmers of Himalayan desert region of Ladakh to grow vegetables and fruits mostly limited to warm weather areas. The Arit Himalayan region has limited vegetation because of lack of water and harsh climate conditions. However, with mulching method and other technological advancements with subsidies from local administrations, farmers are now growing seasonal vegetables and fruits too. Fay village, located around 7 miles from popular tourist destination of Leh, is the first in the region to try the new methods out. The crop ये हाई एल्टीट्यूड कोल डिजन में नहीं हो सकती करके वो एक उदाहरण है कि यहां भी लोग उगा सकते हैं बेशक उसके लिए हमें टेक्नोलॉजीज और एप्रोप्रिएट जो एसेंबलिटिक एनवायरनमेंट से वो देने पड़ता है फार्मर्स से दैट दे आर अर्निंग फेयरली वेल आफ्टर बीइंग ट्रेंड बाय डीआरडीओ एंड ग्रोइंग वाटरमेलन दैट टू विदाउट द यूज ऑफ केमिकल बेस्ड पेस्टिसाइड्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स the producers are used to fulfill local demand as well as sold to the Indian Army stationed in the region who earlier had to source food items from mainland India. Devotees in parts of India's western Maharashtra state bid farewell to Hindu elephant-headed god Ganesha by taking out small processions following protocols in place amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Idols of Lord Ganesha are immersed in water bodies, marking conclusion of a 10-day-long religious festival. Devout Hindus in parts of India's western Maharashtra state bid farewell to elephant-headed god Ganesha after 10 days of his birthday celebrations and took out limited processions on Tuesday amid the COVID-19 pandemic. In Maharashtra's Mumbai city, devotees in small groups gathered at the famous Juhu beach where they performed Hindu rituals like offering special prayers before the immersion of the idols into the sea. The immersion ceremony, known as Visurjan, signifies divine entities returning to their abodes after being the guest of the devotees on the occasion of Ganesh Chaturthi. <laughs> पब्लिक ऐसा इतनी जमा हो जाती थी प्रसाद बांटते थे भगवान की पूजा करते थे बहुत खुशी खुशी से करते थे लेकिन अब इन एकदम सुनसान पड़ी पड़ी है कोई गाना नहीं गा सकता है कोई भजन नहीं कर सकता है कोविड के लिए सब लोग घबरा रहे हैं मीनवाल इन पुणे सिटी पीपल वॉक देयर वे विद द आइडल ऑफ लॉर्ड गणेशा ऑन शोल्डर्स बिफोर द इमोजन एंड चैंटिंग ऑफ स्लोगन्स एंड बीटिंग ड्रम्स during Ganesh Chaturthi festival, devotees buy decorated and colorful Ganesh idols and establish them in their homes and rebel in religious pageantry. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now, our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com 
You can also visit us on facebook.com slash Asia Newsline and follow us on Twitter at Asia Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.